Okay, next I'd like to talk about interior and exterior lighting and controls. This is a very critical element in the design of your trailer. It's something that's difficult to retrofit, so you gotta get it right when you design the trailer and build the trailer right up front. We'll start with interior lighting. Um, as you know, your driver's in there trying to pull cases, trying to pick pallets. He needs to be able to see. There's been a lot of innovations and technological improvements in LED lighting recently, so we can really get a bright environment for your driver to work inside. The control system for these lights can be complex, but let's try to keep it simple. In the old strategy, you would go around to the nose box on the front of the trailer, hit a button, the lights would come on. When you were done, you would hit that switch and the lights would go off. What we're recommending today is a series of timers and passive infrared sensors. So basically what that means is when you switch the lights on, however you switch them on, they will time themselves out with an electronic timer or when the physical activity stops inside the trailer, the timer will shut the lights off. What turns the lights back on is the movement of a heated physical body. So your driver gets up inside the trailer, he, his body is warm, the passive infrared sensor senses that movement and it, it turns on the dome lights. And those dome lights will stay on for whatever you program, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and they'll time themselves out. On the rear work area, outside the back of the trailer or outside the side doors of the trailer, you can have work area lights. Some of them can also serve the dual purpose of reverse lights. So ask your trailer salesman about wiring these rear work lights to assist your driver backing into docks at night and difficult situations, you know, rain, snow conditions where there's poor visibility. Controls on the exterior lighting fall into a different category because there are uh, legal issues with you running down the highway and white lights coming off the sides in the back of the trailer. Typically with a rear lift gate, a rail lift gate, you'll have a header and a header light that would be used as a work light. You gotta make sure that light is turned off. And if you use a passive infrared sensor to turn the light on, then if you think about it, every time a stray cat walks by, that light's gonna come on and you'll be in violation of some kind of a law. So what happens is we have found a way to wire these things into the braking system and the ABS system. So as soon as your driver hits the parking brake or releases the parking brake, hits the service brake, it cancels that rear light and will not allow it to come on with the passive infrared sensor. These are, these are issues that you need to discuss and finalize before you build your trailer. Other safety features we can provide for the driver are rear cameras that he can use when he's backing up. They're also useful when you're running down the highway, but they're incredibly useful in a, a non-commercial environment when the, he's trying to back up his big trailer. Automatic reverse lights. There's a system that we can provide which takes the wheel sensors in the ABS system it senses that the trailer is starting to move backwards instead of forward, and it will automatically turn on the reverse lights. Please ask about that option. It's a great feature.